Hello, Internet. I'm Eva Avenue, and I'm bringing you some historical footage tonight. Broadway in New York has been closed since March of 2020, and when Chris got a news assignment to cover the first new play to debut on Broadway, I was ready to invite myself until he invited me to come along and hold the microphone. This is Passover by Antoinette Nwandu. Opening night at the August Wilson Theater. This is the very first Broadway show preview ever since the pandemic. I'm coming to see Passover. Very excited. Uh, I used to work in merchandise on Broadway, so it's nice to come back to home, really. What's the uh, shutdown been like for you? Uh, long. <laughs> Too long. I think things are, are moving on up into a, a better future for Broadway. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, what is going on? I'm well, standing in line for Passover. One of the first plays to come back, I believe, onto Broadway. So, very exciting day. I mean, I couldn't be more excited, couldn't be happier. I've been waiting for this day for like a year and a half. I'm just thrilled to be here. Um, I actually had Broadway tickets for the night that everything shut down. So, this is a big moment for me to be back here. So, how long have you been looking forward to this? Since March 12th of 2020. <laughs> I'm so excited. We've been waiting for this moment for a really long time. It's here, and I'm really excited. I can't wait. Matt, who is our lead producer, he reached out to me because I'm like always on Twitter. My name is Ariana Prescott. I'm always on Twitter. I'm like, I want to be a producer. I want to be a producer. And Matt reached out to me uh, a little over a year ago um, and said, you know, we're planning to bring Passover to Broadway. And I was like, put me on it. I want to be on it, so, and that's how it happened, so a little over a year now. How big a conversation has COVID been for you guys? Huge, a huge conversation. Um, we brought in an epidemiologist just for this show, um, and she's been working um, with the cast and the staff to make sure that everyone is coming back safely. And um, yeah, it's been a huge concern, but we're doing it. First of all, I just want to say that this show being the first show back on Broadway by a black playwright, Antoinette, we have to give love to her. She's doing a fan phenomenal job bringing this show back to Broadway. Um, and I, you know, being part of seven black playwrights coming to this coming to Broadway this season it's like phenomenal I couldn't ask for to be a part of a better play to be a part of a better cast I couldn't ask for more than that thank you Matt Ross for bringing me onto this project <laughs> this is her dream and her dream has come true I'm so proud of you so proud how excited are you to get back into the theater we used to go every Saturday to a show yeah every Saturday at least, and sometimes on a Wednesday too. So I, I'm about to tear up because I am so happy to be here. You know. We are in line right now to go see the first ever preview of a new show on Broadway after the pandemic happened right now for Passover. And I am so excited right now. This is my first time in New York and it's going to be my first show ever seeing something on Broadway too. So the fact that it's also the first new show opening up too is just like, the stars are kind of aligned right now. This is absolutely insane. Like I can't physically believe this is actually happening. Emotionally, I'm kind of accepting it right now, but physically, I'm still not quite there yet. And I'm just, yeah, I'm happy that I'm here right now. And I know that the theater community has been very serious about what's going on with everything COVID-wise. And like, I even have to have a picture of my vaccination card to be able to get in there. And I'm very, very happy that we're all gonna be safe and that we're all gonna have a good time seeing this show. And I just, it makes me feel so happy that this is being taken so seriously because it's so important to get these artistic messages out into the world and so to not be able to see them because of the virus would be such a shame and we had to go through that for an entire year. So now that we finally have the opportunity to start embracing that theatricality of it all. I'm, ah, I keep saying it over and over again, but I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm a letter to you. Yeah. 
At this point, we don't have tickets to go inside, but usually after a Broadway play, we like to go to Empanada Mama's, which has the best empanadas um, in the world, and it's right around the corner. So we go there during the play and then come back, and I show you the after party and the curtain call and uh, her speech from the balcony.
to mount. I am so grateful, so many of my colleagues, we work and work and work to tell these stories that we think need to live and to get the opportunities that I have. I am so grateful. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. I mean that. Thank you. There's other people that want to talk to you, so I can't thank everybody by name. I wish I could, but I do want to thank a few people by name. I want to thank my lead producer, Matt Ross. God, this is the most stressed out motherfucker on Broadway. He's so stressed. He's stressed so that I can stay blessed. I love this man so much. He has a good heart. He has morals. And he knows how to sell a ticket or two. And so I said, if we're gonna take this show to Broadway, we have to do it from the inside out. We have to change how we treat people. We have to change how we treat our actors. We have to change how much we pay our actors. And then there's this COVID of it all. We, where's Blythe Adamson? Where is Blythe? Is Blythe around here? When the previous administration and the current administration needed a task force, Dr. Fauci called Blythe Adamson. Now I ask you, who kept us safe all four weeks? Me, my director, my producer, our actors, you all. Why are we 
here today. Her company is called Infectious Economics, and all I know is that she is very smart. So I want to thank Blythe, and then I want to thank my creative team. Listen, Donya Tamar is the motherfucking truth! Thank you so much. 